All right, all right, Ikigai Springs hole number three. So this is one that I was doing really well on and then the updates hit and for some reason it's become more difficult. So I was excited to go practice this one. So I used to go light glide here. I slide to the left and the top arrow kind of right in that little change of color there. And I had quite a bit of success with this line. You can see the, the potential there with the light glide and most wins. Um, also kind of a newer approach that I think a few players are taking is a water skip here. Kind of that same, this I just used my same line that I use the light glide, but if you do fall short and hit the water, then you're safe. So that's probably one of the safest ways to get across is just throw a water across and just kind of try to hit the water. Um, you know, if you get across without it and land, you're still fine and still have a chance, but then I switched to that. I'm not sure. I still don't know who came up with this line, but ever since I saw it, it's been amazing. And I, I kind of expect to get this eagle almost every time. But since the most recent update, for whatever reason, this, this line has just gotten tougher, and I'm not sure why. But you can see the potential there. Try to skip it off the bank with the glide skip arrive, just like that. And just for fun, we're going to see how many eagles we can get in a row. Like I said, I kind of expect to get the eagle on this hole. I don't always get it. This second shot is not an easy one either. With this distance, so I can just throw the Accurate Glide Sapphire and make it a lot easier. Um, but if you get back any farther, that, that second shot can get pretty tricky, as I'm sure you'll see as I try to try to go on a little streak. Let's see how many eagles we can get in a row. There's one. It's all about the drive and then the second shot as well. So it takes a couple really good shots to get eagle here, as do most eagle holes. Not in this game, but in real life. Sorry, big yawn. That one barely got across, so we got a little lucky there. This is when the second shot gets quite a bit tricky. We're just going to try to kind of throw it through these trees here and let it skip forward. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I want to flex it at all or just pull straight down. But that seems to have caught minimal amount of branches. Still, though, we're 106 feet out uphill. I mean, you get dead headwind. You got to add like 30 feet or so. Oh, we got it to drop. It's got a little lucky there. That's a uh, second time, so two in a row. This is going to make the video a little longer, but it's all right. Figured it'd be fun to see how many in a row I can get. This one looks like a good skip, barely. All right. If you can get out to the left here, it definitely opens up that second shot. It's not near as bad. We're just going to throw a glide turn, try to throw it kind of right at it. Instead, I slid to the left. I don't know why I did that. I should have just remained aiming at it. But either way, 66 feet, we should be able to make that and get three in a row for the streak. Let me focus here with this big left to right tailwind. That's three eels in a row, as you can see there. Let's see if we can get four. This is all kind of just testing the consistency of this glide skip off the bank shot. That one I turned too much, and that's going to cost me. So that's what not to do. That's what, for some reason, this bank shot's gotten harder lately, but we're going to go for it. There's also a safe play that Daniel showed me. I'm not, I can't remember who it was that showed him. So just throw a sapphire or something up, up safe and short and then slide to the left and do like a big kind of sky hyzer. Not hyzer, more of a sky flex shot. And you can still get up there and have a reasonably good chance at eagle just like that. Or sorry, yeah, eagle. So that's like without even, oh, I screwed the putt up. Oh, well. Without even uh, needing to go across, that's just a layup in front of the river. But again, this is my preferred route here, the glide skip drive. I'm not going to grind this out for an albatross. It's definitely been done, but I don't, I don't know if I've ever got it. It's definitely not an easy one to get. Um, try to keep this one a little lower and just kind of work it around the trees. 
just like oh nice almost got a good skip off the rock there and we'll finish this off with our birdie and by birdie i mean eagle <laughs> but there you go there's a good guy springs hole number three hope you can get eagle there often but thanks for watching me play some dgv on to hole number four